I'm Derek Mink. I'm the director of transit and parking. A little humor. At transit, we like to have fun. Uh, I'm here tonight to uh, talk about our bus tracker app that we um, launched on March 18th, uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, really exciting for the first time uh, in Sheboygan Transit, Shoreline Metro history. We have um, a convenient app that allows our customers to locate their bus. Um, really no more waiting extensive times out on the corner in the cold or in the snow or in the rain. Um, we provide a, a convenient way to uh, track your bus. Next slide. So what is Bus Tracker? Well, it's a real-time app used to view location of our buses on route. Um, it uses uh, GPS technology to map vehicles um, on Charlie Metro's bus routes. You can view the bus number, uh, bus number of the bus on the assigned route and view a list of stops uh, time points, if you will, uh, along each route. Uh, it's available for your uh, Android or iOS devices as well as PC. Um, and it does not uh, display driver uh, information or any personal information. That's kind of a disclaimer. Comes with the, comes with the territory. So, next slide. Um, so, what's a little different about it is it's a traditional website link. Um, the cost of an app is, is quite a bit more expensive, but the way uh, we partnered with Unite GPS, who does this uh, for several transit agencies, they create a uh, web link that's uh, very mobile friendly that you can turn into a shortcut app on your uh, device's home screen. So um, creating it, uh, recommended uh, browsers are Safari, Chrome, or Samsung Internet. Um, the web link is uh, listed there and with some screenshots of what you might see on either device. Next screen, please. <clears throat> so just a, a quick shortcut here um, on Android. Um, if you open your browser, enter the uh, web link in the right-hand corner, upper right-hand corner, you can click to add to home screen. This is a shortcut um, that will be permanently on your device's home screen. And next slide. And the same thing for iOS, just a little bit different for Apple iPhones or iPads. Next slide. So uh, just a real quick rundown. Um, on the screen, you will see a list of our routes. They're all color-coded uh, based on the routes. So you'll see the route banner. Um, you will see a couple uh, things on screen. You'll see the stop list up on top. You'll see the time points along the route. You'll see the bus route itself and then the actual location of the bus out on route. Next screen. So enjoy, uh, just some uh, pointers uh, for those that are using it. Um, you can click and press on the bus location to reveal the bus number. Um, you can zoom in as far as you'd like. Actually, if you zoom in far enough, there are property and house numbers, which is actually really convenient for uh, knowing exactly where you are on the street. Um, bus location is in real time. Um, we dare you to test it, um, but in all regards, it's within three seconds of the actual location, and it refreshes every five seconds. So we've challenged it. Um, the active bus will uh, we have um, will appear off route if it hasn't been to the transfer station for the part uh, for the start of the next route, um, and it uses uh, GPS technology, which we all know is technology. It's prone to fail, so um, it's very reliable and we hope we never have to use that disclaimer, but um, it, is, uh, it is subject to malfunction that, at times. Next slide, please. So enjoy, um, there's a couple ways. Uh, we have some how-to guides that you can get right off of our website that'll take you step-by-step -step on how to create the mobile device, everything that I've just talked about in this presentation. Um, so check out our website and uh, you can get more information. Next slide. So uh, just some initial uh, comments that we've gotten back. So the real-time chatter on Facebook. Um, as you can imagine, people like it. Um, our staff love it, so um, we hope all of Sheboygan um, uses this and uh, relies on it, and we hope to continue to work with organizations on this wonderful technology. Next slide, please. So I'm just going to show you uh, kind of a real-time uh, uh, thing right now. If you want to click on 10 South for me, the banner that, yeah. <coughs> So the wonderful part about this is I just have to say this, that every time I look at this, 
it's always at quarter to and quarter after the hour when our buses are at the transfer station. I have no idea what's with my timing, my internal body clock, but every time I'm at my computer and I'm looking at it, it's always quarter after and quarter to. So again, this is gonna be kind of boring right now because it's at our bus station because of course it's quarter after the hour. Um, but you get a kind of a sense of, of what's going on. So you can minimize banners by clicking on them. Um, Meredith, you wanna click on that again? And then collapse uh, like 10 south, or three south if you would. So it's just, it's pretty easy to maneuver between the, between the routes themselves just by clicking on the banner head and uh, looking for the bus, so. So that's that. Um, so we're really happy again, excited. Um, if you have any questions or uh, would like any assistance, feel free to give us a call or check out our website.